Y'all ready to purge? Are y'all ready to purge, nigga? Sneaker Steez donated five dollars through Super Chat. To Sound an alarm on our bitch ass ha, 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 man, you wild. How y'all doing, people? Hey, good people out there. How y'all doing? Are y'all ready for a good show tonight? Hell yeah. It's not like I can hear them cheer, right? I can't hear them cheer. Hell yeah, they ready. Damn, son. Where'd I you can't find hear this? Them cheer. Carmen Brown, you Esco here? donated $9.99 through Super Chat to piss the haters off. This I cold fire, 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 fire. That nigga here. Oh, I know he here. <laughs> Trying to get the, what an entrance. Oh, you like that? Hell yeah. I mean, he said he was. I had to, to make sure my motherfucking goddamn, my motherfucking little steel shit dropped. <laughs> hey, man, he said he wanted to purge. I'm going to purge him. Oh, yeah, he's going to get purged today. I see why that nigga got bad traps and shit son, out son, <laughs> where'd you find this? <laughs> <laughs> Flying <laughs> Low donated five dollars through Super Chat to piss hey the man, haters off. Uh, listen, Still giving me Undertaker vibes at WrestleMania. Y'all see, y'all see, see the Keisha came. What, what is this word? The Keisha. Y'all see the Keisha came out of him in the day, right? Time out. He wanna, he wanna leave, y'all. 
He want to lead. The only way he's going to talk about me is if I talk basketball. If I mention Greek the freak? Greek the... Let me tell you something, Palmer Brown. What's about to happen to you today, <laughs> you did it because of Greek the freak? You broke a truce because Damn, of a son, where'd you find this? MVP, a champion, an Olympian, number two on my list of best players in the game today. That's who you broke this truce for? <laughs> I hope it was worth it, boy. I hope it was worth it. So, look, this is what we're going to do. I'm here. Not because someone sent me here. No one sent me here. It was Kwame Brown's lies. Kwame Brown's lies. See, Kwame Brown got famous. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Because of lies. Swift All Swift lies. donated five dollars for Super Chat to piss the haters off. The reason y'all me. Lies. All lies. Everything he've ever said about me. A lie. <laughs> the reason he was mad at me. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I don't. Inside joke. Y'all don't understand. I hate that laugh on it. That, listen, I don't want you to backpedal. Don't backpedal, boy. Don't backpedal. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't backpedal now. Um, you were supposed to come to L.A. I hear, I, oh, man, I hear him talking. Like, that tough, listen, that tough talk gone. Y'all see how that tough talk gone? Oh, this man talking about people showing up to his house. Hey, hey listen, Kwame, if they showing up to your house, shoot them. Shit, shoot them. Pop how? That's it. That's all it takes. All the muscles you got. Do do what you got to do. Talking about transgenders is videotaping them. <laughs> maybe they was videotaping you because maybe on the other end was another transgender and they were trying to make sure that you was the person that got that gumma gumma gumma. Huh? You ever thought about that? Maybe they was recording you because they were trying to figure out, is this the man Damn, you gave son, where'd you to? find this? Hey, you ever thought about that? Hmm? Huh, my guy? But let's get this started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. You started off telling people that um, I, I one of the reasons you didn't like me because I dirty macked you, right? I was dirty macking you to your side girl. And your side girl was telling you that I was talking down on your name, that you had an actual girlfriend. And then when I addressed, when, when, when I asked you about it, you flipped the whole script and brung up Chris Whitney. So the fact that I didn't know you had a side girl or knew anything about your, your life, you flipped it and said, oh, yeah, how about Chris Whitney? And then you brung up that whole situation. So that was one lie that you got caught in, right? <laughs> and then your famous lie was you saved moi from getting robbed in the club for my emperor jury. So I knew I wasn't tripping. I know damn well the great Kwame Brown didn't save me in no club. So I asked one of our teammates, uh, Larry Hughes. I'm pretty sure we showed this before, but but Kenny, can you, uh, Skinny, can you put that 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 text up there? Which the one? DM, Which one? The DM, the DM from Larry Hughes. And the reason, you know, we're going to start with this one is this is the one that everybody was like, why are you attacking a man who saved your life? Uh, see, I can't see if it's up. Oh, so I'm you got like, I'm about to tell you. Okay. So. Um, okay. Uh, at the 112 p.m. mark. 
The one yeah, for Larry I, I, Hughes when you asked about the jewelry? Yeah, so can All you right. read our conversation for the public, please? All right. This is you. How much did you charge me for your bracelet back in 2003? Larry. Damn, was it 70 or 80? Gilbert. That's what I thought. LOL. Kwame said 500K, shaking my head. He keeps telling his YouTube people he protected me from getting robbed in a club. And Larry Hughes responds, LOL, man, hell no. Nah. Okay, so our teammate, my, my, my veteran, just like I said, hell no, nah, that didn't happen. So the whole gist of why I'm coming at Kwame Brown if he saved my life, a teammate said, hell no. Nah. He said that jury was half a million, 70 grand. So that's two lies already, my man. All right, two lies. No teammate witnessed or even heard of you saving little old me from, a, from getting robbed in a club for some emperor jury. Man. I don't know what kind of liquor you be on, but I mean, it must have been some good shit. It must have been that brown. It must have been that brown, huh, boy? It must have been that hitty. You must have got that hitty in your butt. That boy got that good hitty in him. Um, so you didn't save my life in the club. So you being this protector of little old me happened to be false. Damn. You almost had it, though. They almost really believed it because that tough talking you do, that tough job talking you do made people really believe that you big, like big, like all the way up here. And because I'm small down here, you would protect me. And because I, I said, yeah, you protect me. You was my bodyguard. People really thought that I was telling the truth. I just wanted to call you a bodyguard because you was the number one pick. And that just seems insulting. Um, Inoffensive. You you got the joke, but most people didn't do it. So we 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 squashed that one. Then you said you said that I cost you one of the main ones. I took money out of your pocket. I cost you a contract. And you got your, your your people over there talking about, man, you taking money out of niggas' pocket? That was your whole little gist. I I took money out of your pocket. I took 50, 80 million. You were supposed to sign with the Nets. That blah, blah, blah bullshit you was talking. Um, Can you put up the next tech that comes from Brendan Haywood? Because I never heard your your your... I never heard the Nets rumor. I know it didn't make sense that Kenya Martin was on a max deal. You was on a rookie deal. That money wouldn't have, that, that, that wouldn't have worked. I mean, for that to work, they would have had to trade me, you, and Larry for Kenya Martin. So I asked Brendan. I asked, I asked Brendan, can you, can you put that text message up there? Yeah, I'm about to. Because, I, you know, sometimes, you know. I got you know, it, I got it. And I'm just saying 20 years is a long time. So maybe, you know, maybe you, I, I'm forgetful, you know, uh, maybe I'm forgetful. And I just had to ask every time something happened, I ask a teammate, I don't go to Google. I'm not, I'm not Carcino. I do not go to Google, Google some shit and then give my opinion on what I'm reading. See your, everything you do is opinion. No actual facts. Like, you saving my life. That's not a fact. Who, 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 who seconds that? Obviously, no one. So, can you read our, the conversation? Can you tell them the date so you can see how long I held it for? Can you, can you look at the date, read the message between me and Brendan Haywood? All right. Uh, Sunday, July 31st. Seven. July, say it again, July what? Sunday, July 31st. 
So this was the day. So this was the day Kwame Brown was on here talking about I fucked up his Nets trade. You know, Mitch Kupchad and Ernie Grunfield was working together. They had they had businesses together and somehow they wanted to put him under coke. That bullshit he was talking about. Go ahead. Your Go boy ahead. Kwame had a whole meltdown today about me having him bench saying I fucked his money up because he was supposed to make 80 million. <coughs> B. Wood said, again, ain't no way. And then you replied, again, LOL. Said he was supposed to be traded for Kenyon Martin and be with Jason Kidd, but everyone was hating. Brendan Haywood say, he can't catch. Jay Kidd would have had him <laughs> traded after five games. Can you imagine Kwame? Well, Jay Kidd. <laughs> he said, uh, you said, uh, okay, after five games. Can you imagine Kwame? Well, J Kid, don't throw him bounce passes. Can you imagine <laughs> Kwame? Tell J Kid, don't throw him a bounce pass. That's what he said. That's what he meant to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yeah, read it, read it. All right, so he starts laughing. Here it go right here. It's continued, he starts laughing. Then Gilbert says, this man be lying. And they think I'm the liar. Niggas sucked for 13 years and blames me somehow. <laughs> Brendan Hay would say, lying his ass off. He must be miserable. Just leave him be. Nobody paying that motherfucker any attention anymore. His buzz is over. So you laugh back. You know I have to put him in the dirt. <laughs> put him and, in the dirt? And then Brendan Hay would say, y'all on YouTube? And then you responded back, yep, LOL. <laughs> okay, so... That's a second. That's another teammate that never heard about a Nets trade. That's a teammate who said, what did he say? Did he say hell no to that he 50 said, to 80 million? No. Oh, he said motherfuck no. Motherfuck no. He was not about to sign no 55 to 80. I mean, if you look at his stats, the nigga averaged five and seven. Missed 40 something games. He was never going to sign no goddamn 50 to 55. But because y'all don't know basketball and he already deemed me as the devil, y'all wasn't going to believe me. So while I was texting him, while I was texting him, I was also texting because, you know, I always need, I always need. You know, back and forth. I need two people sometimes to make sure it ain't me. So I text, I text Drew Cleary. Drew Cleary is our strengthening and condition coach. Now, if you look at Kwame Brown, he was strong, Woo. built like an ox. I think some of y'all have ever heard me say that he's a show pony. Because, you know, like, like in the race, like when they have the little horse um, shows, they look all pretty, stallions. They probably can't run for shit or do nothing. But they they built for just looking good on shows. So I called him a show pony. He got all a 2%, 3% body fat, looking all good. And, you know, um, but one worth shit. So this is Drew Cleary, our trainer, that Kwame Brown always stayed in the weight room with. So actually, this was Kwame Brown's, like, Go-to guy. Anytime Kwame had problems, anytime he was going to go out and drink, he usually brung Drew. Drew is from Australia. Um, he's from Australia, and he got that Australian accent. Um, so I text him also to hear, to see if the, the tr this, this trade and this $55 million, the, 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 like, was this some real shit? Um, I was in my own world, so... You know, um, you know, I was an all-star. You know, it was like, you know, compared to Kwame, I was like, um, I was like Zeus. You know, I was coming from the heavens, and he was like supposed to be a demigod, but he was just a regular ass nigga down there. Y'all, y'all know what I mean? You know, like you know how he came on here talking all like he's a he's a demigod. No, 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 just a regular ass nigga. Um, so can you put Drew Cleary, Kwame Brown's drinking buddy, our strength coach? 
text messages and out there. And y'all keep count out there. We already then gave you two basketball players. So this is the trainer. This is the trainer. And it's also on June 31st. June 31st. So y'all see it. I'm texting the same day. I'm going back and forth because I need receipts. I just want to make sure I am not the one out here gassing you folks. So w when was this? June what? Sunday, July 31st. Sunday, July. We in September, people. 7, July, 10 p.m. So oh, 7, 10 p.m. Okay, go ahead and start reading. Doggy, your man is losing it. Kwame had a full-blown meltdown about how I had him benched in the playoffs and it messed up his $80 million contract he was supposed to get. Was saying shit like Ernie and Mitch were business partners and they worked together to hurt his talent. Did you ever hear that he was going to be traded for Kenyon Martin that summer when we shipped him to L.A.? So the trader responds back, nah, never heard that one. He wasn't getting no 80 million. We all know that. Feel bad 